Hey there, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started on your general reading. Please keep in mind this is general. I'm going to start by pulling a card from Spirit. Um, the energy that they were giving me as I was um, speaking to God this morning about your reading, I was feeling an energy of like attack. So I feel like a there's just this attack that's been, I don't know, it, I'm being shown daggers, so, which makes me feel like you've been under, okay, thank you. You've been under some sort of attack. That's what I'm getting here. Hmm, okay, so let's see, what is the message there? What is the message, Holy Spirit? A warrior spirit. Stand your ground. Did, see? Look at how that... See? Did, what I just said. You were under attack. What does the spirit want you to know? You're a warrior spirit. They want you to stand your ground and unlock. This is like saying, don't take it lying down. Stand your ground. Don't falter. Don't give up. Stand your ground and unlock the warrior within to help you conquer any obstacles and secure your victory. Say you are a warrior spirit. I'm hearing perseverance. Don't give up. Hang in there. Yeah. Definitely feel like there's been some sort of attack taking place. I'm getting the number three. There's something about three. Reciprocation is coming through. What you want wants you sow your seeds and your harvest will undoubtedly be bountiful and rewarding so there's something that you want that wants you whatever that may be because it's not going to be the same for everyone just think about what it is that you want and spirit is saying what you want wants you but sow your seeds so it's like it's not going to just be you know giving to you there's a process to what you what you want it's not something that's going to be like, uh, happen overnight. Again, going back to the warrior spirit, don't give up. You're a fighter. Perseverance. Hang in there. Trust your instincts. Trust and follow your instincts. There's no need to think it over or get another opinion. You know. Trust your instincts and trust your intuition. There's something that you could be going back and forth on. But your instincts, your intuition is guiding you. You already know the answer. Take one more card. Peace. Protect your peace. It says from negativity. If you can't find peace within yourself, you will not find it anywhere else. So... Protect your peace. Sometimes being by yourself is protecting your peace because it says if you can't find it within yourself, meaning that maybe some people have been looking to other people or other people have been causing your peace to be disturbed and you may need to go into that hermit energy where you are protecting your peace and distancing yourself from people that are disturbing your peace. Why am I getting here the number of three? There's something going on here. And I talked about attack. You know this. You may have been questioning who the people are that's attacking you. But you already know deep down who they are. Trust your intuition on who is the cause of your peace being disturbed. I feel like there's some sort of mark on you. Like someone has it out for you guys. Why am I getting Lord? Like someone is trying to be Lord in. Be careful guys with who you trust. Everyone is not your friend. 
And everyone is not all light and love, no matter how they come across. That's why I'm saying trust your instincts. I feel like this is a time not to go outside of yourself. Go within. Both of these tarts talks, talks about you going within. Even right here, you're a warrior spirit. Don't allow whatever this is that's taking place in your life to cause you to give up. It's just a distraction. It's being used as a distraction to get you off of the path of what you want that is wanting you, that is calling you. Yep, accept that things can happen in a different order than the one you had in mind. Patience is key. That's what I was talking about, whatever it is that you want. Something maybe that's going to take place in the distant future. Yep, say it. It says, say what you're afraid to say. If you express what you've been hiding, it will give you the peace that you seek. Something needs to be said. So maybe for someone, you haven't been speaking your truth. Uh, because maybe you haven't been certain or sure of whatever it may be. Trust your instincts. Trust your instincts and say it. Say what needs to be said. It will, I feel like that will also give you some peace. Because some of you may have been holding back on saying something that needs to be said. And, I, and I'm still trying to understand this number three... What is that about? Why am I getting... Maybe I feel like three attacks or three people. But it's like it went from three to two. So that may make sense to someone. I don't know what that's about. But I'm getting here three and they're telling me it went from three to two. So like from three people to two people. All right. Holy Spirit. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We got a tower moment taking place. Mm. Something is going on here. This is dark. This tower moment. Look at how dark it is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's some sort of upheaval. Some sort of chaos. Something has come out. Something has exploded. It's on fire. There's calamity with this tower moment. But this is also being intentionally done. This needs to happen. Whatever it is that's happening right now with this tower moment, it needs to happen. We got here the two of wands coming through. Put it there. This is making me feel like someone has tr someone is trying to cause a tower moment in your life. But this is, I'm telling you, this tower moment needs to happen in your life. Someone is intentionally trying to cause chaos. And I'm giving here, someone is secretly spying on you, doing divination work. Like trying to look into your life through tarot or through psychic mediums. Like they're doing some sort of divination to see if what they're causing in your life with this tower moment is actually taking place. If, if, it's, if it's affecting you, stand your ground. It goes right back to, because I told you, I feel like there's a mark on you. Stand your ground. You're a warrior spirit. And I feel like it's being done to distract you or to get you off the path that God has you on. And I feel like, and see, and I feel like because you're experiencing this tower moment and this adversity, you may feel like this can't be the path, but it actually is the path. It actually is your path. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be clean. It's not going to be a straight row. It's not going to be, like I told you guys earlier with the rep, recip, um, reciprocation, this is not something that's going to happen overnight. This is the sowing of your seeds. Remember it says here, what you want once you sow your seeds and your harvest will undoubtedly be bountiful and rewarding. This is the sowing of your seeds. What you're going through, what you're experiencing. This is all part of the path for whatever it is that's going to bring your harvest. 
that's why it says don't give up because someone may be feeling like giving up because they're experiencing a tower moment. They're experiencing discomfort. They're experiencing this disruption. But yeah, someone has definitely been trying to cause some sort of chaos and trying to see if this chaos in your life is working. And that goes back to, the, they're taking me back to the say it. See, I feel like maybe someone doesn't want to be called out by you. They don't want you to find out and or find out that they're doing this and say it. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, see, a liar. Deception. Yes, there's some sort of deception going on here. And this is five swords. One, two, three, four, five. And then you got, you see the five dark swords and then you got two. And didn't I say it went from three to two, which is making me feel like there's been like daggers being thrown at you. And so now they, they keep trying. They keep trying. This, whatever is being done, it's like they keep trying. And these are, they, these five swords did not work. So now they got two more. They're going to keep trying though. But they're being weighed down by this. Look at how this person is struggling. So whatever it is that they're doing, it's going back on them. This is why it's heavy. Because it's returning back to cinder. But they're, they haven't given up. And again, I feel like it's to, again, it's to get you off of the path that you're on. To keep you quiet. Because some of you are meant to be speakers because I'm seeing you know with the talking maybe you're meant to help someone maybe you're meant to encourage someone maybe you're meant to heal people there's something about your voice that has power that they're trying to stop I'm seeing the green which is giving me an envious spirit and power Wanting to wanting to suck the power out of you. That's why it says warrior spirit. Stand your ground. These people are trying to suck the power out of you. But they say you can conquer this. I just heard you're more than a conqueror. This is only making you stronger. That's what I'm saying here. That's why it's getting returned back to them. Because it's only making you stronger, whether you believe it or not. It is making you stronger. It looks like they're going to try two more times. But I feel like the two... I feel like for some, remember we saw the instincts, trust your instinct. Because I feel like there's some sort of confusion... Maybe you have been confused with who is trying to cause calamity. Who is trying to cause this tower moment. But deep down you already know. And I'm getting here um, confusion. They're trying to, whoever this person or people are trying to cause confusion in your life. We got the seven of pentacles coming through. There's something being hidden. No, something I'm talking about something about you. There's something that I feel like is being hidden. Like you need to do something in secrecy. Work. Someone may be hiding money. Let's keep going. There's more to this. Let me see. I feel like someone could be trying to stop you from making money. I feel like someone is trying to affect your finances. I'm telling you, whatever struggle they sent to you is going right back to them. We got the Six of Cups coming through. Some of you have um, 
you've been watched ever since you were a child. There's something about your childhood and being watched. But I'm talking about being watched in a way in which, um, I don't know, someone, I'm, I'm getting here, someone could have, oh my gosh, okay. So I feel like something is being buried about something that happened to someone in their childhood. And remember I said speak your truth. Someone did not want someone does not want you to speak the truth about what happened to you. And if this is not you, this is going on around someone that you're very close with. Um this could be a soulmate that you're very close with, but there is someone that does not want someone to speak their truth about what happened to them in their childhood. A page. Yep, page is coming through. Yeah, this happened when someone was a child. And I feel like someone still thinks about this. It's like they were trying to bury something that happened when, so, when someone was in their youth. And I feel like someone still struggles with the memories of what happened in their childhood. Wow, whoever this is, they've been through a lot. Okay. Yeah, someone is definitely still affected by their childhood and some sort of secret that was being buried. Hmm. Yeah, here comes the Empress. We got a mom coming through. The Empress, something, yeah, this is something to do with someone's mother. Yeah, I feel like someone has an issue with their mother. And something that happened in their childhood. I feel like this is a religious mom. She has a cross on her heart. There's something religious about this mother. And this makes me feel like a like she holds um there's some sort of book. And maybe this is the Bible. I don't know. I'm getting here some of you your mother cuz I'm getting here green. Some someone's mother cuz they're telling me there's some jealousy or envy here with someone's mom. Who's religious, and maybe that maybe I don't know. They don't. They maybe this is the person for some of you. There is an empress. Rather, this is a mother, a grandmother, um, just someone that that's just like a maternal figure. I feel like this person could have been jealous of you as a child. Something to do with the youth, and even in teenage years. Even in teenage years, this child is gifted. The Page of Cups is coming through. So this is a gifted child. The Two of Swords went from three to two. So that, yeah, see three? Here goes the three I was telling you guys about. Went from three to two. What is that? Up? And then we got here the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, block out what happened in someone's childhood. Yeah, someone's trying to block out what happened in, in someone's childhood. And I feel like questioning. This makes me feel like not believing or ignoring. Questioning is that are you telling the truth? And in, in denial about what this child could have been saying. I feel like I feel like Whoever this, whoever experienced this was really surprised. And it made me feel like fleeing the eight of wands, leaving. So someone could have left their childhood home to get away from their mother because their mother was not believing them, was ignoring or in, like they knew this person knew deep down this child was telling the truth, but they refused to believe it. They refused to even look at it, to even investigate it. And it may have something to do with religion. I 
I keep, I'm being referred back to stand your ground. I have to overcome a lot. What else? We got the Eight of Pentacles coming through. We got the Justice card. Hard work. All right, so this is giving me a, um, and then we got the, yeah, I was just about to say, this is giving me another person's energy. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. So if that's not you, this is this person that went through this. Take it how it resonates, okay? We got the King of Rise, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, or someone that's embodying that fire energy. Justice. Someone could be dealing with the Libra. We got the Eight of Pentacles coming through. Yeah, love. Eight of Cups walking away. Yeah, this is someone. Yep, I feel like someone left their home, left the place where they grew up. This is making me feel like, like I'm giving here not feeling safe. And I also heard black sheep of the family. And I'm also getting here aggression. So this, this for, for someone who experienced this, not everyone, but for some, there's someone that's angry about what they went through. And they put, put themselves into their work. Something has angered someone and they focus a lot of their energy on their work because they feel like they were done wrong. They feel like life has been unfair to them. And I feel like this is someone that left their home with nothing on their back. And I feel like they're working or they had work to make themselves a success. This is someone that's a natural born leader. I feel like this is, this is definitely a warrior energy coming through. This is someone that took what they went through and like they used it to persevere. They used that energy. And this is not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just picking up a warrior, like a fighter, like not giving up. And like, I'm going to work really hard. Even though life has not been fair, I'm going, I'm going to work really hard to make some sort of way to make something happen in their life. The King of Wands is definitely a warrior. Been through battles. Also a leader. Very fierce. Yeah, I feel like this person has been going through a battle. But I'm seeing, I feel like no matter what is thrown, this person does not get knocked down. I'm seeing victory associated with this person. It's like no matter what happens. And I'm seeing here, something is about to fall down. This is, this is making me feel like uh, headstrong, whoever this person is. This King of Rods that's coming through is a headstrong person. And I said something is falling down. So I feel like they, they've gone through or going through some sort of spiritual awakening. I feel like someone wants revenge too because of the injustice. Like maybe they want people to pay for what they've done to them. Or they want to see people pay for what they've done. They want to see people get, they want justice. They want justice for all the wrongs that happened to them. Or one particular wrong that they have struggled with forgetting. To, uh, they want to see those people, you know, pay for it. Whether it's go to jail, have to go to court, because it's on their mind. But there's some sort of spiritual awakening that they're going through as well. Hmm. And I feel like it has to do with some, for some of them with their work. Something about their work has to do with the spiritual awakening too. This may be someone, remember I said headstrong and stubborn? This may be someone that didn't believe in like spirit or, or maybe because 
I'm seeing here, remember we talked about the religious mother. I feel like going against that, whatever that belief system, it's like, I feel like it could have been ingrained in them growing up. And it's like now going against it because they see the people that did believe that way were liars. Was trying to cover up things. And I feel like they're going through an awakening where they were programmed to, you know, seeing that the, the people, the mom was trying to program them in that spiritual way. And they're like, no, they're going through their own spiritual awakening. They're connecting with spirit for themselves. And I feel like they realize that things have been a lie. The things that they believed in was a lie. I'm still being drawn. What is this? What is this book that this month? This is a shield in the picture here, but it's they're telling me it's, it's representative in this reading for me, making me feel like it's a book. So something maybe a maybe this mom uses religion or a religious book. And that's why I fuck this person is mad because they're like, you're a, a hypocrite. Yeah, they feel like their mom is a hypocrite or this mother figure. We got the Knight of Pentacles coming through. The Knight of Rocks coming through. And Lovers. I'm getting here. Okay, so. Let me let that pass by. Okay. I feel like this is someone, um is looking to pick up the pace because they know that there is another lover in your life. I feel like some of you either have another lover or you will have another lover. And someone that was moving slow is going to pick up the pace and want to come back in your life. I don't feel like you're going to be married or living with someone when this happens though. Cause this or or this person isn't okay. There's no one. There's no one in this person's life. Maybe some of you are living with the person, but this person definitely is a single person. They're not married or in a relationship, and they were moving slow and taking their time, and now looking to pick up the pace and manifest you in their life. They have an altar. Whoever this, and remember I told you they were going through some sort of spiritual awakening themselves. They have, they actually made an altar or they're doing something at their table to manifest you in their life. Yeah, they've learned something. Yeah, they've been reading books. They've been acquiring some sort of knowledge on how to manifest the two of you being together. Because it's not there. It's not there. You're not there. So they have created some sort of table, an altar table. Uh, maybe they're using candles. I'm seeing some of them may be using some sort of drink. I don't feel like they, they have a white coat on. So I don't feel like it's anything dark that they're doing. Uh, but they are wanting to manifest you and they're reading up about it. Page of Swords. Yeah, it's not working though. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. It's not working what they're doing. And remember I told you guys earlier there were three, then now there are two. So there could have been three people trying to do something. Some good, some not so good. And now we're down to two. And for others that two could be trying, uh, trying two more times. I'm getting here spying. And I also feel like uh, someone is talking to a mentor or talking to someone or looking at someone. It's either one or the other. Someone is talking to someone about how to do this and others are looking online or looking on YouTube to get information on how to manifest this connection. Because I feel like this person 
either sees you with someone else or feels like you're with someone else. I also get that they're trying to do something where there's like this, um, something to keep the two of you tied together. And I, I'm hearing they're doing it so you don't move on. They want to keep the two of you tied together for some of you. I don't feel like their intentions are bad, but just because their intentions aren't bad doesn't mean that that is something that you want. So it's kind of like that twofold. They're they're doing it like they they not they're not trying to hurt you like the other person or other people could have been doing, but they want you in their life. But I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles. It's not working yet because there could be another king, another person in your life. That has changed your mind with the Ace of Swords. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be. Um, I feel like for some of you, there could be another person in your life, or maybe you want another person because of something that has changed your mind about this person. I'm also getting here that this person has realized in their mind. They realize or want the two of you to work together. They feel like the two of you can be a power couple. Mm -mm. We got the four of cups coming through. Then we have here the strength card coming through. This is your energy coming through. The sun card. Deep down, you really want to be happy. This is making me feel like... Okay, so like I was saying, deep down, you really want to be happy. But this is making me feel like someone is going to secretly send you something. And you're not going to know who is coming from with this energy. I feel like this person that was moving slow, now picking up the pace, I feel like they're going to secretly give you something. And you know what else I'm getting here too? I feel like this person tries to come into your dreams. Because remember I told you guys, um, I feel like cup, like there's something that they're doing with a cup with their on their altar. And I feel like they use that whatever work that they, um, whatever they found out or learned, they're doing something too to try to come into your dreams. And I'm also getting here, um, uh, like I said, like I feel like physically, something in the physical realm, it's like sending something to you, but it looks like it's going to come like anonymous. Like you're not going to know that, like they're not going to directly say it's from them. I don't know why they're doing this. Like why they won't say, why, why they're doing this secretly though, like secretly trying to send you something. Again, for some it's secretly send you dreams and not be known that it's them. And for others, I feel like secretly sending you something. Maybe because they're, oh, maybe because some of you, they don't know if you have someone else. And so they're, maybe they want to get a message to you secretly. And wanting to find some sort of way to secretly give it to you directly. So if there is someone else, they don't know about it. I'm seeing here, this may be someone that, you, whoever this person is, you may have had some animosity or at some point in time, some of you could have been angry, but I also feel like you could have been compassionate towards this person. I feel like you could have been very patient with this person as well. So I feel like you gave this person like, uh, you know how... Some of you like may know that this person maybe went through some things and maybe you went through some things and there could be trauma bonding. So this is making me feel like I know what you went through because, you know, I've experienced some things in life. So you're trying to be patient. You're trying to be kind and compassionate to this person. But they took that for granted. And I feel like at some point you, you took your compassion back and you could have gotten angry because of what they did. 
I'm seeing here success. You're someone that's regal. There's something about royalty. There's something about your elegance too that this person likes. There's something about your spirituality. Some of you may have a tattoo that symbolizes your spirituality. There's some, remember I told you a mark or there's some sort of mark on you. Like something where or you or you left a mark on them. And I feel like there's just, there's something, I'm surprised the high priestess isn't coming out because this is what I'm getting here with this nine of pentacles, like a high priest type of energy, but also someone that's very uh, luxurious. You may like the finer things in life. <clears throat> or, or a very spiritual person, very insightful and very intuitive is what this purple is giving me. And, <clears throat> and I'm seeing here that this person is getting messages from spirit in order to elevate their finances, in order to be successful financially, that is. All right, let me go ahead and wrap up this reading. This is getting a little bit longer. Tell me about this person. Uh, we're going to close out towards that. Tell me about this person that my cancers are dealing with that's secretly sending them something. As a matter of fact, let's, let's do some oracles. Oh, yeah, the five of cups. Look at here. Three cups. So it looks like here, too, I feel like this is what's going to happen. I feel like three times they're going to try and maybe you reject. They could have called for some of you. I'm hearing they called you secretly three times to see, you know, to try to see, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to even make up anything because I don't know. <laughs> okay. I can't get in. I'm trying to give an example of why they would do it. But this person called you secretly three times. That's what that was about. Calling you secretly. You're like, who is this calling me? Like, yeah. And look at here. Look at what happens. I also feel like, I feel like you could have, uh, they have some major regrets. And I feel like if you know it's them, you may reject the cause. I, this is making me feel like someone, oh my gosh, are they down and out in regret and despair? Because I feel like their two of cups is behind them, meaning that, they could have had you in some sort of triangle and they are not with anyone. They lost you. They lost the other person. They're feeling down and out. But this makes me feel like you possibly being or them thinking that you're with someone else. I feel like they've tried and now they're secretly trying. They really want to find out what's going on in your life. See, they don't know. The death card, feeling like it may be over. Uh, let me pull, let me get some, we're gonna do some oracles to see what this is all about. I'm still in love with someone else. This is probably why this person was moving slow. Cause yeah, cause we got here, yeah, regrets when it comes to you, when it comes to someone else, and when it comes to their life, they were juggling you and someone else. So I feel like this person was moving slow because that goes that Knight of Pentacles with this energy on this side. This person was moving slow because they were still in love with someone else. And now they've messed it up. And now trying to call you secretly and send things to your house secretly. The reason why we cannot, the reason why we can never forget each other is because we are together in an alternate reality. And remember I told you I felt that energy of keeping you bound. That's what I'm saying. Like they, 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 they keep holding on to you. And this is someone that's holding on to you. But I feel like especially seeing the Knight of Rods still has issues with being vulnerable. They hide behind their charm. They hide behind uh you know, this personality, I feel like, because the Knight of Wands can be very charming. They can be like a people person. Like, I just feel like it's a facade. They have a hard time with being vulnerable and open, but don't, but don't want to let you go. Caught a sexually transmitted disease. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna let that stay with that. That says it all. 
So they could have got burnt by someone. And that's why they have a lot of regrets when it comes to you. And now calling you secretly, playing on your phone. I can get ruthless when I'm triggered. So I feel like you constantly rejecting them is going to be, or has been triggering if you have. They're going to get triggered by being rejected by you. And then we got have people pushing people away lately. It's not easy pretending I don't want you. They're sulking. And then we got here, I feel, yep, did I tell you that? Angry. I feel your anger towards me. This is why they're afraid to contact you because they're afraid of what you're going to say. This, this is someone that knows that they're in the wrong. They know that they're in the wrong. I want to see, tell me about this, um... For those where they are trying to send something, tell me about what's trying to be sent. Tell me more about what they're doing to try to manifest cancers. Engagement is in reverse. And see, planning. Told you, planning. Planning it. Yep, but it's coming in reverse. And remember, we saw the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It doesn't look like it's going to work. That's why it's, yeah, because see, realization is in reverse. I told you, they realized it too late. Two of Cups, you being in a relationship. This is someone that's going to realize it too late. Because I feel like when they do gather the nerve, Divine Feminine. And look at what's at the bottom, Divine Masculine. Can you guys see that? It looks like there's a glare. Oh, it's just their chest. But that says divine feminine. Yep, see, silence. See, look at this. Silence, non-action. And we got a drama queen. They're not talking to you because, yeah, there is someone else, a drama queen. See, they're single. I told you they're by themselves. They, they're no longer with the drama queen. Whoever, if there were, there was a drama queen in their life, they're no longer with that person. And now they want, and this is someone that regrets not marrying you, not being with you. Yeah, we got here a new home. This is you. This is you. A new home. Some of you are going to be moving into a new proposal is in reverse. See, I told you coming to your home. I, to, I told you. Did, I just thought about that. I forgot I told you coming to your home, popping up. You're going to reject it. Proposal in reverse. Engagement came out in reverse and so did proposal. See, popping up to your home, whether it's a new home or not, they're coming to somebody's house, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit to propose. I should have married you. Tell me about this divine, this masculine and feminine energy. We got here a daughter. There's something about a daughter between the two of you. What is that about? Some of you, and I just saw the clock. Someone may feel like their time, their clock is ticking when it comes to having a child. For some of you, you may have a daughter with this person. You may have a child with this person. Yeah, older woman flipped through. Again, I for some, this is not going to be everyone's scenario that, or storyline. But for some of you, you may be older and you may have a daughter or some of you, you may be older and, you, and you're and you like, my clock is ticking and you're meant to have a daughter. For some of you, I feel like someone had a child, like a secret child. You could have had a child with this person through an affair or they had a child with someone through an affair. And for others, I'm getting here a mother-daughter issue. Yep, see receipts. Show. Show me the proof. And remember I told you guys earlier, something happened with someone in their childhood. Mom probably didn't believe the daughter. 
when it happened to them in their childhood. And I'm seeing here an interview, maybe having a talk to try to get on the same page. So, but what is the divine? Because, yeah, I'm seeing here done. This makes me feel like this energy of this older woman and this masculine, because the feminine is up top. And I feel like the feminine energy is being done with both this masculine and this older woman, which is to me making me feel like that empress, that mother. And like I say, for some of you, this is going to be about you and your mom. And for others, you and your child or someone having a child out of wedlock. You, you take it how it resonates with your situation because it's not going to be the same for every person that's watching. Just, yeah. All right. And then we got here. Yep. Yeah, see, so we got here some health concerns. This masculine, there is something going on when they're concerned about their health. And remember, we saw STD. This masculine is concerned about their health. Yeah, see, they're, they're really going through some things in life. And I feel like now wanting to come and pull off of your energy. And you're done with people pulling on you and your energy and trying to use you and take advantage of you. Yep. All right. So it looks like, yeah, this person may try to pop up at your house like we thought with a ring. All right, my beautiful loved ones. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I will catch you guys later. Bye.